First of all, this debt ceiling crisis is actually a political crisis. The House of Representatives has approved a deal to allow the U.S. to borrow more money, days before the world's biggest economy is due to start defaulting on its debt. The measure easily passed the chamber by a vote of 314 to 117, despite some defections on both sides of the aisle. The U.S. Senate must vote on the bill later this week before President Joe Biden can sign it into law. The government is forecast to hit its borrowing limit on Monday, June 5th. That has left little margin for error as lawmakers race to avoid the U.S. defaulting on its $31.4 trillion, 25 trillion pounds, debt, which underpins the global financial system. What's in U.S. debt ceiling deal and who won? A simple guide to the U.S. debt ceiling. On Wednesday evening, 165 Democrats joined 149 Republicans in approving the 99-page bill to raise the debt ceiling, allowing it to pass the House by the required simple majority. With Republicans in control of the lower chamber of Congress and Democrats holding sway in the upper chamber and White House, a deal had proven elusive for weeks until President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy inked a bipartisan compromise over the weekend. In a statement, Mr. Biden thanked the Speaker, saying he had negotiated in good faith. Neither side got everything it wanted, said the President. That's the responsibility of governing.